Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. Wanted to bring you this little review about a product. I've reviewed this company before, but they've since come out with some new products and asked me to take a look at them and review them. And the company is, they go by a couple names, Reglowstick.com, Reglowstick.com, and Tritium X. And I did a, when I did the original review, I discussed a lot about the difference between like a Tritium vial and something like this and the differences. And I'll annotate or I'll actually put in the section below where that original video was so you can see it and kind of get some comparisons there too. Uh, but anyway, they've since come out with some new products and asked me to take a look at their products and review them and that's what we're doing tonight. This right here is one of their originals. I actually just stuck this carabiner on here. Uh, this is one of their originals that they uh, sent me um, back some time ago that I reviewed. And this one here is called the Firefly Plus, and the other smaller version of this is called the Firefly. And I actually have the Firefly in a survival tin, so I didn't want to dig it out. I couldn't uh, dig all that stuff out to get the little one out, so I just got uh, this one that I had. Uh, this one right here was actually uh, carabinered to the uh, to one of my uh, uh, get-home bags. So, what are they? They're Lexan-type material with rechargeable uh, glow-in-the-dark material sandwiched between two pieces of clear type Lexan. That's what they are essentially. And you can recharge these and reuse them over and over again like typical a lot of glow-in-the-dark products. But they're designed to be more um, you know, sp user specific as far as task, as far as like camping and things like that. Um, but they've come out with a few new products and the first one i'll show you is the fire is the glow zip is what it's called and it's just a smaller version that can be used to put on a zipper or you know maybe on your pack um you know attached to gear so you could find it if you uh, dropped it in the dark you could actually see it glowing things like that so it's got this little one that's kind of very lightweight and small and could easily be put on a piece of gear uh, that you was afraid that you might lose in the dark that would be important. Um, you know, like say your uh, compass, that's something you would really need. So having something that glue in the, glows in the dark in case you dropped your compass and you couldn't find it, this right here, even in the woods especially, even if you had a flashlight, things look really different at night with a flashlight in the woods trying to find you know something like a compass that's very important to your survival. Well, you could cut all the lights off and you see this glowing, then obviously it'd be easier to find. So even things like that can be, you know, this something like this could be used to attach to very important gear. You know, again, zippers, whatever you want, but uh, they've come out with this smaller one. They have this one here, which is uh, called the double, and it's essentially one of these times two. So it's, you know, just like that, just, just bigger. Okay, so they have this, which is the double, which allows you to have more light and uh, be able to see more. Then they have this one here called the Mapper, and it actually comes with this NATO strap. Then you can remove it completely off the NATO strap if you understand anything about the NATO um, watch bands. But you can take it off, and you don't have to use it on that. You could use it on something else. But it does come with that um, NATO strap to be worn on your wrist, and it's called the Mapper. And the reason is they figure that it's a good way for you to possibly read uh, maps and things like that. But uh, it's uh, pretty thin, about like a wristwatch would be. So let's take a look. I'm going to charge these up in some artificial light. That's how most all glow-in-the-dark products work um, that's not uh, radioactive that you can, like tritium, you can actually just charge it and recharge it and recharge it over and over again indefinitely. Unlike tritium, which does last a long time, but it does fade out. I've got uh, some sights on some Glock pistols and stuff that I've had to take off and change because after about eight or 10 years, they get to the point where you can't use them anymore. They don't glow. So these, this product here is not like that. You can actually recharge it indefinitely over and over again. So let's take a look what these things look like in the dark here and uh, show you what that looks like. All right, so if you see, these things actually put out, um, even on camera here, quite a bit of glow. And I'm gonna show you, this right here was the one of the originals I showed you. And this right here is the map. And I can actually see this map, I can read it. Okay, the bigger one, it obviously is going to cover more 
it's not it's, it's a little brighter but it, it covers more span across the map this one the actual mapper yes I can turn it over now I can read portions of this map very easily and again it does not pick up well in this camera to show you that detail maybe I can this way yeah there you go so if you see now I can actually see portions of this map without ruining my night vision by turning on a very bright light or giving away maybe a position you know if I'm if I turn on a flashlight it's obviously going to glow really bright and uh, people are going to be able to see it this right here is a little more covert where I can hide this in my hand or under a jacket or whatever and use it now one thing that's worth mentioning this right here is the little fly the little zipper uh, portion and it don't really yes it's only made for marking gear you're not gonna be able to read a whole lot with that little one um one of the things i talked about in the other video and I, I think it's worth discussing again in this one really quickly one thing i like about this product is it's indefinite two reasons like a glow stick like a chem stick that people use those for map reading people use them for signaling marking th stuff things like that all the time the problem i have with those things is they're great used them over the years still have plenty of them the issue is after unless you have a bunch of them they start you know with you at the time you're needing them they'll go bad in between eight and twelve hours sometimes less depending on the quality and how old they are and things like that something like this is indefinite i can keep charging it and it'll be you i can use it every single time it's charged and this fades just like a glow stick will the chemical ones it does fade out eventually over time until it's recharged again but a short burst with a nice strong LED flashlight will bring it back to this every time and I talked about this in the other video again because they're unlike chemical sticks where you uh, they lose and then you have to toss them the other thing I mentioned was they actually can conserve your batteries so I can charge something like this and instead of sitting here with my flashlight you know and just burning down my battery once I charge it one good time I can sit here for 10 15 minutes reading this map and trying to plot my you know chart my territory or you know my route or whatever and I'm not using up my battery life so that's the main thing that I like about these is they're reusable you can use them conserve your uh, batteries that you have and they are just continuous use over and over again indefinitely so that's kind of the whole thing a matter of fact I, it is pitch black down here and I am going to use one of these to actually see to plug this light back in because it is so dark I can't see my hand in front of my face so I was able to take this simple tool that uh, reglow stick and see where I could actually plug in my lights down here and turn them back on. So that's why I say, guys, they actually have a really good purpose. And I think, uh, you know, whether they gave them to me or not, I th once I saw them and understood them, um, I think they're well worth owning uh, a few of their versions of these uh, and have in your stash um, to be able to uh, utilize. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. <laughs> tuning in, I want to thank the folks over at reglowstick.com here is their little brochure they sent me reglowstick.com and if you want you can use this uh 10 percent off promo code just use the uh, code flyer f-l-y-e-r 10 flyer 10 and get 10 percent off your order and also in your notes when you send the order tell them that you saw our video that's always helpful and let them know that you saw the video and just say hey uh, guns and gear network sent me over and uh, so forth but uh, i'd like to thank peter over there he's the one that sent this out and um, tritiumxreglowstick.com so really nice folks over there and i really appreciate them to uh you know sending their uh, products over for us to look at thumbs up for us on the products again peter i appreciate them and i think they're excellent but uh, anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you like our videos give us that thumbs up to that section right down there it's always appreciative and very helpful with us and youtube and so forth and uh oh let me show you our new mascot to our channel hadn't named him yet i'm probably going to do a contest to name the zombie and uh thought i thought he was kind of neat he's one of our actual uh halloween decorations and my son said you need a mascot 
uh, for your channel. So anyway, we got a new mascot. It's so and so Fred the Zombie. I don't know what his name's going to be, but uh, he'll have a name here shortly. But anyway, guys, again, thanks to the folks over at Reglow Stick. If you like our channel, give us that thumbs up. It's very appreciative. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring you another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.